Hello there, uh, my name's Gary and uh, I have a dream to uh, give to you all. So I'd just like to start out in prayer and then I'll read it. So Father, we just thank you Lord for uh, this time and we thank you Lord that uh, you still give the body of Christ dreams and um, these dreams can, be, can serve as warnings, as encouragement, as uh, hope. Um, they can also uh, be uh, a form of guidance from uh, the Lord. So, uh, Lord, we just thank you for these uh, for these dreams, and we thank you, Lord, that uh, you are still speaking to us today. And uh, we just give you thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, uh, a couple days ago, I was given a dream, and I was in prayer seeking the Lord for some things, and this is what came up, and I felt pressed to, you know, bring this dream out and uh, and then give a little discussion. So uh, let's start. I was with a small group of people, and we were relaxing on a beach. There was a calm breeze, and there was much peace. The wind began to pick up, and the sky began to get dark. I noticed that the shoreline looked just as deep as the ocean. The waves on the shore were very high. I noticed that there were at least four to six larger metal military ships hauling supplies. It was clear that the first ship was hauling an overflow of food supplies, while the other ships were hauling other things like household supplies, electronics, and other types of uh, merchandise. These ships were moving along the shoreline, heading our direction. At this point, we began to move away from the shoreline and head towards a large brick building that was on the right of us. Um, the building reminded me of a church, but I did not realize this until after I woke up. And then on the left side of me, I noticed another large brick building. I noticed a large courtyard that was in the center. Ahead of me was a large, tall, built Native American man. He was giving me a warm smile. There was peace on him. Then I noticed another Native American man that was a distance behind that man. The man behind me had a bow and arrow, which he was pointing at the man in front of me. I tried to warn the man that was smiling at me, but it was too late. He was shot in the back with the arrow. The man swung around to look at the Native American man that was ahead of him. At this point, I moved out of the way so I wouldn't get be caught in the crossfire. Then I noticed that the man with the arrow shot another one and missed the man who was smiling at me. So at this point, I went to grab this man and move him away from the man with a weapon. As I pulled him away, he was shot in the right side with an arrow. And as I was rushing the man to safety, I noticed that the man with the arrows was following us. By the time we got to the left side of the courtyard, closest to the brick building, I noticed that the Native American man with the weapon was already in front of us, and he was a little bit of distance ahead of us. The man with the arrows shot one and hit the Native American man I was trying to save. The man was shot in the heart. At this point, I froze and just looked at the man with the arrows. The image of the man began to change. He changed from a Native American man to, with, to a woman of Chinese descent. At this point, I knew all was hopeless, and I put my hands into the air and shouted, Jesus, 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 save us. As I looked ahead, I noticed the woman slowly shrugged her shoulders, put the weapons at her side, and walked away feeling defeated. Then I noticed that the sun began to peer through the clouds. Even though there were, there were arrows in the man's back, right side, and chest, because of the fact that I prayed, the man was standing taller and stronger than the moment I originally saw him originally. So, 
I guess the main part of this dream, one, is to uh, realize that we need to pray and realize that, you know, things ahead are going to be a little bit rocky. I don't feel compelled to really talk about too much about the dream in general, but I will bring more of a discussion a little bit later. Um, I do feel like it's, you know, we need to uh, pray and meditate over this dream and, um, you know, think on these things and just realize that even though that there's a storm ahead, you know, God's in the midst of all things. And I think some things, you know, can be pretty self-explanatory as far as the dream is concerned, you know, that Jesus is the rock in the midst of the storms. So I just want to um, end this with prayer, and I will get back to you guys at another moment. So Father, we just thank you, Lord, for this dream. Lord, we thank you that you use all things together for our good. And Father, I thank you for the saints that have been praying this whole year of 2020 into 2021. And I thank you for the saints that are going to continue to pray and press in and pray for righteousness and uh, pray for hope and pray for peace. Um, and also pray for transparency. So Father, we just uh, we thank you, Lord. I pray that you would bless those people that are watching this video, their friends, their families. And Lord, we, uh, we thank you that we will meet at another time to have more of a discussion. And we just pray all these things and praise all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So, you know, thank you for watching.